a lot about uh, the declassification of Netaji files, which has literally become the buzzword nowadays in the national media uh, declassification movement. Uh, uh, for all the declassified, uh, all the classified files, hundreds of classified files, and by the uh, government of India, and of late there has been a Twitter statement of. Uh, Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi that the process of declassification will begin on the 23rd of January 2016. Now that uh, we are seeing a lot of discussion in the news media and as well as a lot of uh, articles, writings which are coming out in the print media, a kind of hypothesis is uh, emerging. However, without any documentary evidence that Netaji probably did not die, most probably did not die in the so-called air crash in 1945, but he made his way into the Soviet Union, where he was either imprisoned and died a natural death, or he was murdered by the demonic dictator Stalin. So would you like to enlighten uh, us something about your views on the matter, on the so-called hypothesis of Russia, death in Russia? Declassification is concerned. Actually, declassification movement now in the public plane actually started in the legal plane, assembly debates, parliament debates from early 90s. When the government of India, led by Congress, planned or conspired to give posthumous Bharat Ratna to Shubhash Bush, that triggered a movement in India, in parliament assemblies and also in the legal plans High Court and Supreme Court. In that case, in High Court and Supreme Court, different orders, they are the court ordered governments to declassify the files. But the government did not obey the orders. Number one. Number two, all along I have told that the declassification of the files will be in a process with the unfolding of the world scenario. Because this issue is an international issue, it is a global issue, it is a mystery. Mystery related files will come up in the light of the unfolding of the events throughout the world, along with the changes political inside India. Okay. Now the hypothesis I come to that, which is being sold in the media by some scholars though they are not showing any document. But the hypothesis is Bose has died inside the prison cell in communist Russia, either or he has died there in natural death. This is a once this, this is a manufactured story, this is a hypothesis because the very force which benefited from the story of the plane crash story now they are in the position that that story is not being accepted by the people of India. The last commission has listened. Otherwise, people from different sources has come to their conclusions that Bose has not died in the plane press. Now, these very masters, these very enemies of the country, they have to give some other story to the people so that people are confused and people's eyes are deviated from the truth. There is always a tricky strategy of the enemies of the country. And then I am not now taking the files related to Gunnai Baba or Mahaka. Keeping all those files apart. Beyond that, whatever files from the intelligence of UK and the USA, whatever files are published, those files are sufficient to prove that Bose was a free man and a living man in Moscow and he came out from the boundary of the USSR. Number one, think of the behavior and his utterances of Vijayalokhi Pandit or that is not. Maybe they have not clearly told that they have seen Bosch in Moscow, but whatever they have tried to 
give new to the people of India, that is sufficient. They have got some information about Bose and Bose. And definitely Bose was a free man and a living man there. Had there any bad intention of Stalin regarding Shubhas Bose, Stalin is not that stupid that he will allow a disclosure of the information of Bosch to Vijay Lokhi or to uh, Parakrishnan who will leak this information maybe in a controlled way to the different circles in India. He has some intention to give the news to the people of India. I, I tell you the only objection was from the side of Nehiru, not from the Stalin side. Number two, look to the files, British intelligence files, CSDIC files of London, of, 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 the, of the British. File 273 INA, now it is a declassified file. This is a file of the era of 1946. There you see lines. Bose is in Moscow. He is organizing an army in the similar way of INA. Bose must be free must be dynamically organizing, otherwise how the inter British intelligence write these notes in his files. Yes, obviously somebody sitting in a chair can't be organizing an army on the lines of IRA. And also note is there, Bose wants to enter into India via Chitral, where Bose will be re received by some of the sons of Sarabhush. This is a note. Also, there is a note that, there is a report that Soviet ambassador in Iran has disclosed that both in Moscow. Also, in other files of British intelligence, there will be astonished to see that both in 1944 December, throughout the whole December, he was in Moscow to discuss his future actions, future movements when Japan is going to fall. Definitely, and other files also, <coughs> both Moscow recognized Bose's movements, Bose's PGI. Recognized. So then, when Moscow has recognized Bose, why the Bose will be in prison of Stalin? Number three, if you go to the CIA documents, which has come out, in, in the, the file of the 64 British Intelli uh, American intelligence files, which is declassified in, in 90s, they are clearly written, though many of the lines are under black end, under black pencils. But some of the lines are very clear. One line, Bose in India, Bose in India leading a rebellious group. It may be religious group. The, 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 the words are not clear there, as it is black end. Leading a religious group against the Hindu government. Bose must be in India and a living man, and dynamic man. That means Bose has come out from the boundary of the USSR. Come to the another, 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 another news from the, oh, another, another, another British document, that is file 75 INA, British CSDAC file, where they have recorded a Moscow broadcast, where Moscow has told that Bose's pen has not crashed. And Bose wants another impulse by west of India. Bose must be living and must be free man. And 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 you come to another you have come to American side. In 54, National Republic, a famous English daily of the USA, where a big article was published in 54 February. 54 February. I think that, yes. I'm sorry, it's a monthly magazine of fundamental Americans published in February 1954. The article was Jawaharlal Nehru and Red Threat to India by Eliot Erickson. And this article is based on a white paper by a think tank, America, submitted to the Washington, 
which is supposed to help Washington to design his plan in Moscow beyond 53, 54. You mean Afghanistan? In Afghanistan. Yeah. And while framing the policy of USA in Afghanistan, they are considering few points. Among these points, which will modify their plan, one important point is how the boss is behaving. So that's one of the deciding factors. Yes. Okay. yes. Boss is behaving. Yeah. And this boss must not be a dead ghost. It must be a living ghost and a dynamic free ghost. And another, another file which has been published, declassified and published in, in, in Times of India 2009 in India. And this, this article is U.S. loss list over Soviets planning both imposter. Here U.S. is anxious. Anxious because USA, USA is apprehending that USSR wants to control whole of Russia, whole of Asia, South Asia, particularly importing an imposter Bosch. That means America has recognized that and clearly told to the world that a Bosch is useful for USSR. If that is so, definitely USSR knows its interest better. But then, the why the red Russia will kill Subhash Bosch? When imposter boss is useful, a living boss is better. The real person is much more convenient. Why boss will be killed? Or boss will be allowed to be, you know, die in the prison cell? How that will serve, serve the interest of the uh, USSR? So the Russians would be considering the uh, boss, the real boss as, a, as an asset. That's yes. it. So there's no reason why they should kill him. Yes. That's what you mean. I think these documents and interprets from Germany, this interprets from Germany, in 49, they are clearly written, boss is living and waiting behind the curtain for the changes on the global scenario and national scenario in India. The man behind the curtain, the article name is man behind the curtain, Babu Bosch, the man Hinter Dane Fontaine. I think, and scholars will look to these documents. The scholar should behave as a scholar, should read the documents, and then talk on the subject without having any document. With one should not give such hypothesis. Because modern world, the world of science and rationality do not approach such behavior. A behavior, such behavior of scholars is only possible in a country with a slave mind. With, 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 a, with a bad mind, with a, with a, with a, with a man of high purpose. They want to sell some story. And these scholars is not showing any, any moral responsibility to bank on a, some document. They are not taking this to, to open up any document. Without only document, they are selling the stories. This is a very bad behavior and such scholars are only used in India where they think they will befool these people and will keep these people's eyes deviated from the truth. You they are the agents of the enemies of this country, the foreign masters. You mean to say, sir, that uh, without any documents, you will sell a story, you will sell a hypothesis, and keep keep on repeating it again and again and again, and, and at one point of time, people seem to believe it. Yes, and propaganda, propaganda has got a value. I think that the going, I think it's a bad it's Goebbels. It's Goebbels theory. Yes, I think after the death of Goebbels. I think these are the best followers of these Goebbels.